Welcome back everybody, Chef David here from the New Wave Studio Test Kitchen. Real quick, we're gonna get you some fantastic Super Bowl recipes uh, using a couple of different of the amazing products that New Wave makes. The first one we're gonna do, my favorite, you can tell, we're gonna do some wings. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the wings once in our air fryer. This is the Brio air fryer, one of the best selling air fryers in the country. And I'm gonna make three different sauces, so three different flavor profiles, uh, and it's gonna get you out of the kitchen faster and get you on the couch in front of the game. So the first thing we're gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna set the air fryer, and this is the Brio. If you know the Brio, uh, we've sold, I mean, they're countless how many we've sold. They're real easy to program. Hit the temperature, I'm gonna go up to 400 degrees. And then my time, I'm gonna do 20 minutes. Halfway through the cooking process, of course, I'll shake the basket, or I'll give it a shake, or I'll toss it with a spoon. Uh, this way I can get more chicken in there. If I do one layer, I don't have to do that. Uh, so real fast, spoon, raw chicken, these are beautiful. Uh, Miller Farms right out of Indiana and all I'm going to do is this little fresh black pepper Now a lot of people they make the wings they toss them with the sauce they get it. I don't like that I think if you're gonna deep fry your wings in oil well, Maybe uh, you can do that So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cook these with some fresh ground black pepper and a little splash of canola oil Not a lot less than a teaspoon Just enough to give them a coating and then we're going to put them in the Brio air fryer. This is a six quart model if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's incredibly popular. Uh, all the major retailers have this or online. Uh, raw chicken spoon, you know, we got to put that right in the dishwasher. Okay, so I'm set here. So you guys know the basket is real simple. And I'm just going to put my wings right inside. Guys, it's that simple. This is how easy the Brio works. So now, when I say I'm going to shake it later, halfway through the cooking process, uh, because I have a big pile of wings in here, I think you can see. I give it a shake just to move them around so they cook evenly, or I can go in there with a spoon and give them a toss. If I just did one or two layers, uh, it's easier, but I have probably about four pounds of wings in there, enough to feed, uh, I think, six of us, and that's how many we have here in the studio. So right now, these are going to go in at 400 for 20 minutes. As soon as we come back, I'm going to make three distinct different sauces for you and plate them up, and we're going to have some wings for the soup bowl. And turn it on. Hit start, and that's it. Welcome back everybody, David here at the New Wave Studio Kitchen, and we're finishing up one of our fantastic simple recipes for the Super Bowl. So using the six quart Brio air fryer, uh, we did about four pounds of wings at 400 degrees for a little over 20 minutes, and I could pull them out. Now here we go. So as you can see before when I told you sometimes you have to shake the unit or give them a little toss, and we get actually, that's a lot, pretty nice color on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, let's divide them up between three bowls, and I'm going to show you three different sauces, okay? But what I want to show you here is I'm going to actually put the wings back in, and I'm actually going to put this on a warm setting, which right around 275 degrees. And I'm just going to let those stay really warm so I can mix up the sauces. So here we go. Sauce number one. This one is one of my favorites. It kind of resembles a Korean chicken wing. They're kind of popular right now. So what I have here is I have sambal, which is chilies and garlic, very popular. Uh, we stole something from Southeast Asia. This is sriracha, which again is uh, chilies, but with garlic as well. So this right here is interesting. This is actually called fermented black bean paste. It's very common uh, in Chinese cooking, Asian cooking. Uh, it's black beans that have been fermented with garlic. It's pungent, it's deep, it's rich. It's really good on wings good tablespoon of that the sambal is up to you because it's spicy we can do about a tablespoon and a half on that and then of course sriracha big tablespoon of sriracha now this let me put this aside so we keep it clean now this is very simple all you do is mix these three now all of these actually can be bought bottled sriracha obviously the sambal uh, the chili garlic paste um, is bottled, and so is the black bean sauce. Black bean paste might be a little trickier to find, but I've seen it actually in more uh, supermarkets. So this is a Korean style, black bean sambal. Next one, watch how easy this is. Now here at the Test Kitchen, we make our own barbecue sauce. It's not very complicated. Uh, it's only got about eight ingredients, takes about 40 minutes to cook, and I will post a recipe for you so you can do it. If you want to use a, a store purchase barbecue sauce, there's some fantastic ones out there. Knock yourself out, out here in Chicago. Uh, most of the crew over here will use Sweet Baby Ray's as a local brand. 
Um, but you guys use the one that you love. But this is our homemade one. Also, I don't make my barbecue sauce too thick. I like mine a little thinner. So right here, half a cup barbecue sauce. All right. Now, on this one, I want to put some freshly sliced green onions. They will stick to the wings with the barbecue sauce. And here's the kicker. These are actually not spicy. These are pink peppercorns. Uh, they're very, very delicate. They're actually not a true peppercorn either, but they have a peppery, flowery taste, almost like roses, and they're easy to crush up in your hands. But look, it brings a really nice floral, herbal scent. And you just crush them, see they just fall apart. And these go right in. So this will be sauce number two. And then I have to step over there and grab another spoon. But if you see, we're developing three different flavor profiles. Last one is simple. This one is one of my favorites. I call it a soy, a sesame soy honey glaze. Uh, it's gonna go on the wings, and this is actually really simple to make. So we're gonna start off with two big tablespoons of honey. This is our PIC, Precision Induction Cooktop. One of the things New Wave is famous for. It works amazingly. This is our Dorlon Copper Cookware, non-stick, chemical-free. It's gonna get hot real quick. And what I wanna do, look, you can see the honey's rolling around already. It's already getting hot. That's the beauty of induction, the magnet, it works so fast, it gets hot. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, the honey goes with a little sesame oil and a little bit of soy sauce. We'll finish it with some black and white sesame seeds, maybe a couple of green onions, we'll see. Uh, and it's gonna make this amazing, sweet, sour, salty glaze on the wings, okay? So while this is heating up, I'm actually gonna put some more honey. So let's make that, you know what? Let's feed the whole staff. Make it a half a cup of honey, and I'll give you the rest of the ingredients for the recipe. I like the little bears. All right, we're gonna let that come to a boil. The honey has to boil, almost like you're making a caramel out of sugar. All right, so here, pause. Let's take this out. Basket comes straight out. It's the easiest thing in the world. So, we'll just start tossing these while we're waiting. Here we go. So, I didn't make 100 pounds of wings, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, but enough for you guys to get a taste. So that's the chili sambal. And this one is my barbecue with pink peppercorn green onion. This one actually really growing on me. And then, of course, we're going to have, let's just do this one now. I love that. Clean. What's how you say this to clean? Comes right out. Okay? Goes in the dishwasher. So let's pop that in. Get it out of my way. Okay, so platter. Now, honey's gonna boil. While that's boiling, let's get these plated. I like to use these metal bowls. The reason is very simple. They're easy to toss, right? You get your little mess on, it's okay. Get the wings nicely coated. Okay, now, you can adjust how much sauce you put on the wings, and what I say, that's the mess factor. So depending on how much sauce you put on the wings, how messy they are to eat, but you know what? It's Super Bowl, sitting on a couch, having a cold beer and I'm having some different beautiful flavor profiles of my wings. So, that there, chili sambal, right? This one, this is the barbecue. Homemade barbecue sauce, again, I don't care if you use a, a store-bought one, make sure it's a good one, try not to buy one with corn syrup, it's not really good for you. But you can see the color on this one, a little similar to a traditional buffalo wings, but with, let's get some more green onion. You never have too much green onion. And let's get some more of these. You can just, again, crush them right in your hand. They make a beautiful garnish. And again, they're not spicy. Okay, so you'll see this flavor profile. So now we have the big, rich, dark umami garlic. Delicate, smoky barbecue sauce with the fragrant herbal pink peppercorns. And then from there, we'll go sweet, sour, salty with my honey soy glaze, which is very simple to do. Guys, that's a nice pile of wings right there. All right, last one. So honey is boiling, you see that? It's almost like making a caramel at home. Matter of fact, it will caramelize. It will actually start to get that darkening process that we get with caramel. You can caramelize honey. I don't know if you knew that. All right, so watch how simple this is. It's gonna splash a little bit. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of my black and white sesame seeds. I'm going to take a good tablespoon of dark sesame oil or toasted sesame oil. It's different from the other sesame oil. So let's get this guy going. 
So you can see what's happening now. It's starting to reduce. It's starting, any of the moisture that was in the honey is boiling out. So now we're getting a real pure sugar. So now here we go. That's the part that makes a mess. Just be careful. You don't have to stand over it. You can do it in the back like that and let it boil. We want the soy sauce to reduce a little bit in here. Now this one here, this is rice vinegar. Again, another big tablespoon of rice vinegar. Uh, you can use a sweetened rice vinegar, like a mirin if you want it, uh, but I like just traditional straight rice vinegar. This brings a whole new dimension to this dish. Now, what I do is I let this reduce. It takes about a minute. We can finish up our green onions in there. That's not gonna hurt anybody. And then all we do is toss, and then we're gonna plate. So, this one, this one's a, this will be a game winner at home, I guarantee it. If it's not, let me know. Look at this, very simple sesame honey and soy glaze right on these beautiful wings. Let's get a little more sesame on there. And look what we got here, guys. So three different flavor profiles uh, that your guests are not going to be really used to. So, again, chili sambal, dark, rich with the black bean paste. Barbecue, smoky with the fragrant of the pink peppercorn. And then one of my favorite right here is the soy sesame honey glaze. You can see this is cooking down. If we want to get a little more on top, I don't know if the camera guy can get that one, but that looks... Pretty good. Little note about the sesame hoi glaze. Because it's honey, which is boiling sugar, let it cool for a minute before you pick it up, you'll get a little burn. But this is what we got for soup bowl, guys. Three flavor profiles on our chicken wings in the six quart Brio air fryer. Happy soup bowl.